Dear friends, welcome to a personalized episode of Enlighten. Today, we explore AutoGPT's move towards self-initiating AI, rethink networking as a tool for genuine connections, and delve into the creative yet strategic art of naming brands and products. Join us as we uncover these insights tailored just for you. What if AI could not only respond to our prompts, but also anticipate our needs and act on them without further instructions? This fascinating question leads us into the realm of AutoGPT, a revolutionary development in AI technology that promises to redefine our interaction with machines. Today, we delve into the intricacies of AutoGPT, examine how it differs from ChatGPT, and explore its potential to revolutionize the future of AI. AutoGPT, a Python application shared by a developer known as Significant Gravitas on GitHub, is built on the foundation of GPT-4. Unlike its predecessor, ChatGPT, which requires continuous human input to generate responses, AutoGPT operates independently, generating its own prompts based on predefined goals and rules. This capability introduces us to the concept of AI agents, entities capable of navigating the internet and executing commands on a computer autonomously. To put this into perspective, let's consider Chef GPT, an instance of AutoGPT designed to find and generate unique recipes. Chef GPT can independently search the web for upcoming events, like Easter, decide on a suitable recipe, and then save this creation on the user's computer without any external guidance. This level of autonomy marks a significant departure from conventional chatbots, which rely heavily on user prompts. The inner workings of AutoGPT are nothing short of fascinating. The application breaks down its actions into thoughts, reasoning, and criticism, allowing users to follow the AI's thought process as it tackles a task. For example, Chef GPT's decision to search for upcoming events is driven by the reasoning that it will help in creating a relevant and exciting recipe. This level of introspection, coupled with AutoGPT's capability to critique its actions, underscores its ability to operate independently while navigating potential constraints. Moreover, AutoGPT is equipped with long and short-term memory and text-to-speech capabilities, making its interactions more human-like. This blend of features not only enhances its operational efficiency, but also fosters a more natural interaction with users. Now, comparing AutoGPT with ChatGPT illuminates the groundbreaking nature of AutoGPT's autonomy. While ChatGPT acts as a responsive tool requiring specific prompts for each task, AutoGPT exemplifies the first steps toward Artificial General Intelligence, AGI, an AI capable of performing a wide range of tasks that typically require human intelligence. For instance, planning a child's birthday party with ChatGPT would necessitate a series of prompts covering every detail, from theme selection to sending invitations. AutoGPT, on the other hand, would autonomously manage the entire process, showcasing a remarkable leap in AI's problem-solving capabilities. The distinction between AutoGPT and ChatGPT highlights the transformative potential of AutoGPT. By functioning autonomously, AutoGPT not only streamlines tasks, but also opens new avenues for AI applications in various fields. Its ability to self-prompt and tackle problems end-to-end -end without human intervention is a glimpse into a future where AI can assist us more comprehensively. AutoGPT's emergence is a pivotal moment in the evolution of AI. It shifts the paradigm from AI as a tool that reacts to our instructions to an agent that can independently act based on its understanding and objectives. As we stand on the brink of this new era, the implications for technology, work, and daily life are profound. AutoGPT is not just an experimental AI tool. It is a harbinger of the future of AI, promising to redefine our relationship with technology and ultimately reshape the world as we know it. In conclusion, AutoGPT represents a significant milestone in the journey towards artificial general intelligence. Its ability to function independently, generate its own prompts, and execute tasks without human intervention opens up a myriad of possibilities for the future of AI.
As we continue to explore and refine this technology, the question is not just about what AutoGPT can do, but how it will transform our interaction with machines and the broader implications for society at large. Now, moving from the advancements in AI that redefine our interaction with technology, let's explore how changing our approach to networking can transform it into a process of building meaningful relationships. Why do so many of us have a disdain for networking? It's a question that might seem straightforward at first glance. But as we delve deeper, we uncover layers of complexity that reveal much about our social interactions and professional dynamics. Today we're going to explore this aversion to networking, and more importantly, how we can transform it into something productive and enjoyable. In a recent executive leadership program discussion, the topic of networking emerged as a pivotal aspect of becoming a more effective leader. The consensus? Networking often feels like a chore, a necessary evil in the professional world. This sentiment is not uncommon. Many describe networking as feeling uncomfortable or even dirty, as if the act of connecting with others for professional gain is inherently insincere. Interestingly, a few outliers in the group viewed networking in a positive light, seeing it as an opportunity for fun and connection rather than a burdensome task. This discrepancy made me reflect on my own struggles with networking, which I initially attributed to my introversion. However, the real issue seemed to be the perception of networking as a one-sided affair, where the goal was to amass contacts for future personal gain. This approach felt disingenuous and was at odds with my values. The revelation came when I shifted my perspective on networking from a one-way street to a two-way exchange. Networking isn't just about what you can extract from your contacts, it's equally about what you can offer them. This mindset change transforms networking from a transactional activity into a mutually beneficial relationship. But what does a meaningful network look like? During the program, we examined our networks, realizing that the number of connections on platforms like LinkedIn does not equate to a true network. Instead, a genuine network is built on meaningful relationships, characterized by frequent interactions. These interactions are the foundation of a network where quality trumps quantity. Furthermore, we discuss the purpose of having a network. Beyond the conventional view that a network can unlock career opportunities, we recognize the value in connecting with diverse individuals who can broaden our perspectives and worldview. This diversity not only enriches our understanding, but also increases our exposure to opportunities, making us luckier in the professional sphere. The discussions also touched on several insights and strategies for effective networking. One, it's about access, not numbers. Having a small but highly connected and accessible network is more valuable than a vast but superficial one. Two, Intentionality is crucial. Building and expanding a network requires deliberate effort and strategy. 3. Mastering the cold call or introduction is key to adding new, influential people to your network. 4. The principle of giving before asking is vital. Building trust and demonstrating value should precede any requests for assistance. 5. Increasing your value as a professional reduces the effort needed to maintain your network. If you're outstanding in your field, the right people will seek you out. 6. Networks require maintenance. The size of your network is limited by the amount of time and energy you can invest in nurturing these relationships. In closing, the essence of networking is not in the sheer number of connections, but in the depth and quality of those relationships. It's about contributing to and benefiting from a community of professionals who support and uplift each other. By reframing our approach to networking, we can transform it from a dreaded task into an enriching, rewarding practice that not only advances our careers, but also enhances our lives. Now, moving from the art of networking, let's explore how a seasoned copywriter crafts the perfect brand name revealing the creativity and strategy behind what seems like a simple choice. Welcome to today's educational deep dive, 
where we unravel the intricate world of brand and product naming. Have you ever wondered how some of the most iconic brands got their names? Or perhaps you're on the brink of launching your own venture and finding the perfect name is proving to be more challenging than anticipated. Today, we dissect the art of naming, drawing from the experiences of a seasoned copywriter whose journey into this fascinating realm began with a simple yet impactful freelance job for an LA auto shop. Our guide through this journey embarked on their copywriting career by crafting a mere 75 characters for a review. This seemingly insignificant task was the catalyst for a career spanning over six years, involving work across diverse industries from supplements to sports teams. What is particularly captivating is their profound love for naming brands and products. An art likened to writing the world's shortest poem, where emotion, imagery, purpose and value must be condensed into just a few letters. Over the past six months alone, this individual has named an SDK for a disruptive healthcare brand, a resale program, and even launched their own independent naming studio. Let's explore the distilled wisdom and step-by-step -step process they've shared for successfully naming brands. First and foremost is drafting a naming brief. This foundational step ensures alignment with your brand strategy and objectives, helping to navigate the subjective nature of naming. It involves defining the mission, vision, tone of voice, naming objectives, criteria, and more. This is critical not only for internal alignment, but also for holding clients accountable. Next comes the fun part, generating name ideas. This phase is about unleashing creativity, exploring the farthest corners of the internet, and tapping into various sources for inspiration. The goal? to come up with at least 300 ideas without self-editing. This stage benefits greatly from a diverse team, where inputs from various perspectives can lead to unexpected and brilliant name ideas. However, the process is not without heartbreak. Narrowing down the list and assessing risk involves saying goodbye to many favorites due to availability issues or potential legal complications. This stage includes thorough research through Google, domain checks, and even social media handle availability, it's a tedious but necessary step to avoid future frustrations for clients who might fall in love with a name they can't own. Presenting the most interesting, ownable, and promising ideas is next. This involves creative territories, mock-ups, and detailed write-ups that tie back to the naming brief. It's an opportunity to make it fun and ensure the names are deeply connected to the brand strategy. The final decision, of course, rests with the client. The best approach is to guide them towards a recommendation, encouraging them to imagine the name in various contexts and ensuring it stands the test of time. But what if consensus isn't reached? It's essential to allow some breathing room. Names can evoke strong, immediate reactions, and alignment might not happen overnight. Giving the process some air allows for names to marinate, ensuring a choice that endures. In closing, the journey of naming a brand or product is both an art and a meticulous process. It's a blend of creativity, strategic alignment, and practical considerations. From the tale of a copywriter whose career was sparked by a simple review to the comprehensive steps involved in naming, this narrative underscores the profound impact of a name. In the world of branding, a name is more than just a word. It's the essence of your brand's story, the first touchpoint with your audience, and a vessel for emotional and visual imagery. Whether you're a budding entrepreneur or a seasoned marketer, understanding the depth and breadth of naming is essential for carving out a unique space in the crowded marketplace. Today we explored how AutoGPT's autonomous operations could reshape our tech interactions the art of meaningful networking for mutual benefits, and the thoughtful process behind naming brands and products. Stay tuned for more updates. Dear friends, 